well okay guys today's class is going to be about big more practical a bit more interesting we are going to talk about let this is one of the causative verbs now you must be confused what are the causative verbs for information let me remind you the causative verbs are get let make have and help they are called causative verb they are used when something else causes to happen all right let's talk about let today we use let as a causative verb when we are permitting somebody or when somebody is permitting us or when we are allowing somebody to do something or right, look at it's a structure that begins with subject then let if we have third person singular noun that could he she it or any third person singular noun we would add s and that would become let's then person plus bfp base form of verb then remaining substances to make it more clear to get more perfection in it let's have some of its examples here i have written first one my brother lets me drive his car suppose my brother has got a car most of the brothers do not allow their younger brothers to drive a car why because they think you know they can smash the car and it can you know take them in trouble but my brother is very amazing because he lets me drive his car means he allows me he lets me he permits me to drive his car hope it's clear one second one i don't let my student speak any other language except english being the english language instructor i must think about the students i must keep them engaged i must keep them bound to speak in english during a class so i never let them speak in any other let them speak in any other language except english so means i do not let them i do not allow them i do not permit them to speak in urdu pashto or any other means i just ask them to keep on speaking english simply i don't allow them i don't let them speak in any other language third one my parents don't let me stay out of house after 12 at night you know most of the parents uh, you know they are very curious they are very worried about their kids especially mine one are too much so what happens i'm talking about my parents who do not allow me to stay out and to stay with friends after 12 at night so i'm saying that my parents don't let me stay out of house after 12 at night hope it's clear but its second part is remaining which people find most difficult what is that this is basically let's now let's and let both sound similar although they function the same but here is something to be understood very clearly guys basically let's is a contraction of let us which is used for making suggestions like using let us sounds a little bit informal in english language like let us go let us do let us inform or let us wait it sounds more amazing it sounds more meaningful when using let's when using contractingly all right so that could be let's wait means let us wait let's wait basically i am making suggestions to the people who are around me saying to them okay let us wait means we all should wait let's wait it could be let's go means let us go let's go let's see this is one of the very common expression used uh, listen everywhere being spoken so hope guys this has been useful for you one